Dan, can you kind of peel back the layer for us? Can you take us through like the life of a submission? Like suppose I'm submitting my film, whether I do it, what is it through Film Freeway or if I actually mail it in, what happens to that film? Yeah, well, we'll tell you a quick story for today. I picked up a DVD uh, in our mailbox today. Uh, it was the only one so far for this whole year. So that was a, <laughs> that's it's good. Like, this is like a DVD is here. Like early like, bird. That's yeah, good. Like, oh. <laughs> so it's like so. I was surprised. I was surprised to get it. To be honest, it used to be a time where it was all DVDs, and we had to just uh, the process of mailing DVDs. And our mail was piled. It was insane. And now it's nice and clean. All streaming. <laughs> the one DVD is like, whoa, there's a DVD here. It's like an anomaly. It's like that's it's cool. funny. Uh, the times have changed. Um, you know, but but yeah. We, so for us, the majority of our submissions come through Film Freeway. Um, now, obviously, we have other platforms we're on. Uh, we are on still without a box. Although, yes, without a box is, as everyone now knows, uh, uh, I think next October they're they're closing up shop. So without a box is now done. It will be defunct at that time. So we are still on without a box. Um, and then other platforms are Real Port, Fest Home, Click for Fe uh, Click for Festivals. So these other platforms that are a lot of those are international. Um, Film Festival Life. All all these are either Australia, uh, Germany, Spain, different countries that have their platforms as well. We're on essentially uh, many of the platforms for submission you know, process. Um, but Film Freeway is our main you know, top one and our, our main one that most people submit through. Um, so you know, say for instance, a Film Freeway. So they send emails every time, some of the platforms send emails when a submission comes in. So my inbox, I'll get an email come in and see these, these amount of films are submitting as they come in. So, okay, look, this, this is a film that just came in, I'll take a look and then I go log in. And then I devote a certain time of the day to watching a certain amount of films each day. Um, and then from there, I'm just going to go through that process of watching films that are coming in and, you know, rate them. We do one through 10 system. So that's how we judge our stuff is one through 10, along with, of course, notes to go with that and flags. Flags meaning, you know, green means this, blue means this. There's different inside stuff we designate to what a flag would mean. You know, uh, orange might mean this. And there's different colors we have that we can designate to what that may, might mean for our judges and for us to look at. So when I go back and look, I can say, oh, how many of these are green? This is what green means. Green means second round. Or, you know, I'm just throwing that out there. It's not necessarily that. But, you know, so there's a different process with how we do the flags. Um, but the main thing is still, of course, the scoring. If a film scores low, it's, you know, not likely to get a second look. If a film scores high, it's going to have a chance to get a second look and then go on to a second round of viewing after all the films are watched. So, you know, that score is a very, very critical part of the process. But yeah, simply put, I, I look through the films, I watch a certain amount each day, whether it's sometimes five, sometimes it's 10 to 20, sometimes even more. And I'm just looking through the films, watching them and, and scoring them and putting my notes and saving them. Film Freeway is great because I can save them. Other judges that go in there or other people like Theo and myself and Nicole, we can see each other's scores and notes. Um, I can assign the films to other judges or to, to them. And, uh, and so they can see, hey, if I send something to them, maybe I really like it and want them to see it. So, hey, Theo, check this one out and put a note. And so we can kind of communicate that way. And yeah, so that's the film freeware process. It's similar in some other platforms, but not exactly the same with how they use their system for judging. Uh, we have a separate document that we create, a spreadsheet with all of the films. So we can score and put notes in there. That way we can always make sure there's a place that we have them. So we know that we watched it. Because again, all these platforms are different. Without a box's system of how they do notes and scoring isn't the same as Film Freeway and Fest Home is different, so on and so forth. They're not all the same as far as how they're set up for scoring. So we use those that master document to make sure we keep track of all the films and all the scores. And so when we can go in there, we can you know make sure that we can see it. Or if I want to see a film and then I double check, hey, look, Theo already saw this and he gave this a score, and this this judge saw this and he gave this a score, and this is their notes and and then that kind of thing. So basically, the the score, the notes, you know, are, are a big part of it. Uh, obviously, and uh, and the beauty of Film Freeway is you can save it there and you know have it ready to go, and anyone can view it if they have access to view, and so we can kind of share notes internally that way, where it's saved and lives on the on the application in our back end um, when we save the score and the notes. So um, yeah, so that's the kind of a little look into that process. It's basically a twofold thing. It's using the systems that are in place like Fest Home, Film Freeway, Without a Box, all that, and to our best as far as scoring and saving notes. Um, so it's always living there. You can go find it on the application, but also having our spreadsheet that we have a master document where we import all the submissions from all the different platforms and things. So we can always double check and put our scores in there and make sure we have another place that we're not missing a score or missing notes and where a film gets watched and doesn't have a score or notes. So we always have a place to kind of have a backup to make sure we have all the information we need as far as scoring and all that there from different judges. So of a film that um, is going to make it into the actual festival that's in August mm -hmm. every year, um, how many eyeballs have been on that that film that the actually film, makes it into the 400? That makes it to the festival. Um, 
I mean, that's at least that's at least at that point at least three people at least if three, oh. maybe even sometimes more. Um, we have our main, of course, just myself, Theo, and Nicole. It's already three of us right there. So generally, for those films at that tier, that level, if not if two or three of us have watched, maybe not say, for instance, maybe at some point myself and Nicole watched and until Theo bought it, and you know, we don't have to like approve each other. Like I program the fest, so if I'm in the end reviewing all the stuff based on the notes and, and other judges. And we decide, hey, they love this film. This film is acceptance. This is amazing. This is in. We talk about it. It's in. I don't have to have all three of us watch a film to accept it, if sure. that makes sense. Um, you know, so they can you know, sort of bypass that. So sometimes maybe not all three of us have watched it. Um, you know, and I guess at that point it wouldn't matter. It's accepted. It's in. So they're, they're still great. So it's yeah. not to be watching everyone. <laughs> but, you know, but yeah. So it's still at least two of the three of us. And then, of course, there's a review team involved. And so initially, so if, if say we assign certain films to the review team. And say, hey, you, Judge A, you're going to watch these. This is your batch of films. You're watching these. You give me your scores and notes and your, your thing and do all that there. Okay. They watch the films. And I go in and I'm going to review all their stuff. Okay. These films got these scores. This is what has a chance. This one doesn't. This one, I want to see what these are and the certain tier level of scores. I'm going to rewatch all those and then see, you know, what's going on with those. Are those going on in the next round? Do I agree with their score? Do I think their score is poor? Do I think their score is amazing? Do I think they even scored too low and this is even better than I expected? And I'll even add my even notes and they could average in Film Freeway as a system where it averages two, no, two scores. So one judge A watches films. They, hey, they give this an eight. Eight and they have their notes. This is why. And they gave it a thumbs up and this is this. Okay. Well, I think this thing is actually better. I think this is a nine. This is incredible. I'll put my notes in and my thing and then also save that. It averages both scores together. So now the score will go to 8.5. Just doing easy math. Nine, eight. You know, it averages out. 8.5 now. So now I bumped the score up a bit and I'll note that this is a second round viewing and I've watched this now for a second round and this has a chance and whatever. I'll put my notes in there for that. To, we're going to come back to that film and that film is now sort of moved on to the next round. And that's kind of how that process works. Or the opposite could be true. Judge walks, watches it. They give a certain score. I watch, you know, disagree with the score. This is even, this is, this is not going to be something that's going to be acceptable for our standards. It's not going to make the festival. Put a certain score in, note that. And at that point, that's sort of, it's got its second viewing and it's now essentially going to be you know, rejected. So if that makes sense. So that's kind of, that's how that, that can go. So usually there's a, a generally a lot of times a, a two viewing process is our goal. Now, sometimes it doesn't happen because the films score so poorly, uh, you know, that it, amongst all the films and the amount of films that are submitted is that, that low of a score quality isn't there. It's, it's not going to get a second viewing. Um, not likely. Um, outside of a double check of like myself or Theo or us checking, double checking the films. Um, because sometimes I've seen films where a, a review team person gave something a one and it was actually not a one, it was actually a 10. <laughs> because wow. of the drastic nature of the film that the judge was actually very, so I guess it's just say offended by it. <laughs> sure. Uh -huh. We thought it was actually incredible and, and the film actually ended up getting, making the festival. So it was the opposite. So you have to double check scores, whether it's even very low or very high, just to make sure where the, the sort of head is at of the reviewer. So again, talk about the film for a festival. It fell under what we felt are our standards of what we're looking for. Um, you know, so now that was a drastic example because the film was uh, a bit graphic in nature and, and very, yeah. We'll get into details on that, but, <laughs> but, sure, it was, sure. but it was very interesting, fascinating film and very good. So, but that's, that's part of the process. You have to double check things because sometimes, you know, you don't want things to fall through the cracks and it, it's, it's not easy. Uh, it's not always possible. I mean, there's so many films and, and it's, it's a blessing that's great, but it is also difficult, but we do want to always sort of stay on top of all of it. Um, because again, you can find those, those films that I, I would have been very disappointed if that film didn't make the festival. We felt really strongly about it and, uh, and about the filmmaker and about the, the, the actual movie. So, you know, that's why you got to double check films and try to watch twice and not just watch once and just let it fall by the wayside. But again, it's not easy that not, not all films can get that second viewing and, and third viewing at times, but that's the goal is to go through rounds and have films watched more than once. Cause also there's how you feel when you watch the film. If you watch 50 films, are you tired? Or you're like, I'm over this. You don't want to judge based on being grumpy or not in a mood. That's not fair. You want to make sure that has another viewing. Say, okay, this looks really good. This has interesting elements. I like the story, but maybe it's, it's slow moving for my, my taste right now, but I'm also, you know, I've watched 40 movies or something. I'm tired. That's not something you want to judge on. That's not fair. You want to make sure, okay, let's put this aside. We watch it, assign to another judge, let them take a look and see if they agree with your scores. They like it better, they like it worse. What are their thoughts? Because again, we are a review team and the people that are reviewing that have gone through the process and are, are folks, we trust their word. We trust you know, that they're gonna obviously judge in our, in our sort of style and way. So 
yeah, at that point we're comfortable passing it on and seeing what they think. But that's a big thing. It's like that's not also judged based on, you know, just mood of like you know how I'm feeling. You know, oh, I'm mad. I had a bad day, and I'm, I'm going to be harsh. Like that's you know, it's human nature. You have to try to fight against not being impartial or in a bad place and just like judging based on that just because something's not maybe for you it's not me that i'm not the person i'm not the audience i'm just someone who's trying to obviously judge based on what i think is fitting for the festival but oh, I'm that's not, interesting i'm not the audience does that make sense so it, it's yeah. but it's that's also a you have to try to humble yourself that way right that's not normal way of watching something if you like something you're like it's great i, I hate something you hate it you hate it there's a personal preference of things in life we all have preference but it's not always about the preference it's about what is right for the audience, what is deserving of a spot, not based on what, you know, you know, whatever was something I love so much personally just for me, you know, because it's not about just me, you know, does that make sense? 